All right, as you've heard, a lot of candidates on the ballot tomorrow, but there's also an amendment. And Fox News is committed to making sure you have the information you need to cast your ballot. Fox News investigative reporter Brendan Kirby is standing by with a closer look at the proposed statewide Amendment 1. Brendan. Lenny, so voters tomorrow will be asked to do something they rarely do, give up their right to vote for an elected representative. Amendment 1 would change Alabama's elected state board of education into a board appointed by the governor. It has strong backing from Governor Kay Ivey and the Republican leadership in the state legislature, who argue that the switch would increase accountability in the state's low performing public school system. Opponents argue the measure is an assault on democracy. Alabama business and insurance interests have poured nearly a half a million dollars into the campaign to approve the amendment. A political action committee set up by the president and CEO of the Alabama Farmers Federation raised $471,000 and has spent $433,000 on advertising. Alpha kicked off the campaign with a $100,000 contribution. Other top donors include Great Southern Wood Preserving, which also chipped in $100,000, the trade group Manufacture Alabama, and the Alabama Association of Realtors. They both gave $50,000 each. Two contributions came from Mobile. The law firm Cunningham Bounds gave $25,000 to the effort, and the construction firm H.O. Weaver & Sons gave $1,000. The opposition to Amendment 1 isn't as organized, but Mobile Area School Board member Jackie Ziegler, the State Republican Party Executive Committee, and some Tea Party groups, among others, have urged voters to reject it. Reporting live from the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.